let's explore some presentation tools. So head to the magic box and then go to tools. We're going to start with this magnifier. Magnifier is the magnifying glass. So let's click and drag that onto our canvas. You'll see a circle. And if you click or touch in the middle and drag it around, you'll see that things are magnified underneath it. If you want to resize this, touch the sides and then just drag to expand it and make it bigger or smaller. Or if you want to change the zoom, click on that settings cogwheel button and then adjust the slider. When you're finished and want to close the tool, just click the X. Let's go back to the magic box and the tools. And this time we'll use the spotlight. Click and drag onto your canvas to use the spotlight. It'll cover up your whole canvas except for a small portion in the middle. In order to move this revealed or spotlight area, you actually have to click on the covered up area or the dark area to move it. You can't move it from the spotlight itself. So you can see here, I'm dragging from the bottom right corner and this moves the circle around to reveal what's on my canvas. Drag the sides to resize it. And if you click on the settings cogwheel, this will adjust the transparency of the background. And then to close this tool, just like before, we'll click the X. Finally, in the tools, we're going to explore the shade tool. So head to the magic box, go to tools and find shade. Click and drag onto the canvas. This is going to cover up your whole presentation and you can reveal whatever part you want by clicking and dragging up, down, left or right. Let's drag this over. And you're going to see over here on the bottom right that there is a toolbar. It's kind of transparent and has some different icons on it. Obviously, X will close it out. But if we want to change the image itself from the shade, click that settings icon. It looks like a cog wheel. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up your file management and you can choose an image from your computer to replace it. If you want to reset it, there's a circle looking icon with a cog wheel in the middle. That's the reset button. Or if you want to create your own custom area, find the icon with the mountains and the sun on it. This will let you click and drag your own custom area to cover up. So we'll just cover up the top portion here. And when I let go, there's my shade. And of course, I can click and drag and move this around. Notice that an icon has appeared on the top of that little toolbar. This is the reset button. So when I click that, it's going to move my shade back to its original position. Or if I want to expand it back to full screen, just below that is the expand button. It looks like arrows going out from each other. Finally, choose the X to close your shade.